Alright, in this video we are going to look at how to create an applications uh, pop-up for maybe your most commonly used applications, um, maybe you want to sort them. Um, but before I get into that, let me talk about what I, what I do uh, for applications. Now, I use Nova Launcher Prime. I'm a big fan of it, even though I love KOWP. Uh, so, you know, down here, this little dot that you see down here, I'm going to use my finger to scroll through it. This is Nova Launcher. You can add a, a certain number of docs. And actually, this is kind of how I organize my applications. Like I have a little, as you can see there, customize, tapping on that. I have my apps that I use to customize, mainly just KLWP and uh, KWGT and Nova settings. I don't really use um, Zooper at all anymore. I use Tasker. But um, other things too, like my Google stuff, you know, I have all my apps there. So, you know, that's how I handle it. But I do want to show you how you can put app an application, <coughs> excuse me, pop up onto your custom live wallpaper. Um, this was a request. So uh, let's have a look at KOWP. And what we're going to do for, for this, the sake of this video, I'm going to pop a new icon down here in my dock. So I already have a dock created, as you can see right here. I have it in a horizontal stack group and I'm just going to add a new one. So let me uh, copy and paste. And now they're a little bit, um, notice they're a little bit overlapped, or not overlapped, but hanging off the screen. So let me go in here and change this icon to something for my apps. Let's see, what do I want to pick? They don't really matter. I'm not, but I just want to do this to show you. Okay, I'll just do um, thumbs up. All right. Uh, now, when I touch this, I'm going to have to make something a little bit different. So, what I need to do here, I'm going to go back. I don't need to go that far. I'm going to go to my dock. I need to scale this down a little bit. That way I can see them all. Maybe right about there is good. You can always just scale it. You don't have to go in and change the size of every individual icon. And since this is my dock, I'm going to, or since I want to see the applications, I want to pop this one right in the middle. And I think that would be right there. Yep. So when I touch this, I want to open the applications uh, pop-up. So what do I want that pop-up to look like? Well, we need to design it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I'm going to call it, mm, let's do an overlap group. And I'm going to call it Applications 7. Now, the way I have this stuff animating, I have it animating using a text global variable. Uh, since I've made this particular preset, I actually use the list global variable now for these types of things. But no, no sweat. I mean, we're talking about making an applications pop up. So inside of this Applications Overlap group, I'm going to add a shape. And I'm going to make that shape just a rectangle. Make it as big as you want. You can use global variables to scale this thing. But for now, I'm going to roll with that. And i tell you what, I'm just going to apply a stroke. And that's going to be my pop-up. Okay? And I'm going to let it pop up right there. i tell you what I need to do, though. Um, I'm going to make it like that. All right, so now inside of this overlap group I just created, I'm going to create a stack group. And now inside of the stack group, I want to put some icons. So inside of this stack group, I'm going to layer it horizontal center. And now let's, we're inside of the stack group, let's add, um, I'm going, now you can add font icons, but since I know I have some icons from icon packs that I've downloaded off the Play Store, uh, some of them paid, some of them for free, but Stealth is an example here. So I'm going to go to Image Not Set. I'm going to pick that image. And I'm going to go to my Stealth. Um, actually, I'm going to use the black. The stealth, these are three icon packs that I've bought. So I'm going to pick that one right there. And I'm going to find um, the apps that I want to use, uh, most commonly used. Now you can organize these. You can create separate ones like for games and all that stuff. I tell you what, okay, I know I got got a couple of games up here. I don't have Angry Birds. Uh, do I have any of these? Even if you don't have it, you can pick whatever icon you want. 
Okay, I know I have this game. I forget what it's called, <laughs> but I know I have it. All right, boom. So that's the one I'm going to pick. Now, touch. And when we touch this icon, we want to open that, open that application. So let me add a touch. And let's go to launch app. And I'm going to pick that app. I have no idea what it's called. But I remember, I know I have it. It's somewhere in here. I bet if you're watching this video, you're thinking, dude, you just scrolled right past it. And obviously I did, dagnabbit. Okay, oh, there, it, look at that, the irony. Monument Valley, that's what it's called, boom. Okay, so when I touch that one, I want to launch Monument Valley. Now let's go back to that icon. I mean, you can name it if you want to, hold down, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste. Now notice this next icon popped up horizontally centered because I'm inside of this stack group and I had the stack group labeled horizontal center. <clears throat> now I'm going to add another one. Go back to my icon pack. Let's do this one for YouTube. All right, so touch, launch app. We need to change that and we need to go to YouTube. There we go. And now you can add a couple more. So remember, when, it, when you add them, <clears throat> if you're doing it like I'm doing it, when you add them, make sure you change the icon and change the touch. Now, for just for the sake of this video, I'm going to copy, paste, and I'm going to copy, paste. Now, obviously, you're going to have different icons here. Um, what I'm trying to point out to you is that maybe you want to scale your little window a little bit different. Now suppose you wanted to add some more. Well what you could do is you can just take this stack group here, we can copy, we can paste. Now you might see that you say okay we got two stack groups but we only see one. So if you start stacking multiple icons, right now these two are overlapping each other because of the way they're anchored, but if we add another stack group, watch what I'm going to do here. These two stack groups here are two rows of icons that you can tap on to launch your apps. Now, mine are the same, but I'm just showing you how to do this. If we go to this stack group, this new one I just added, and we go to vertical center, all right, let's back out of that. Let's take these two stack groups that are lying right on top of each other. I'm going to cut. I want to remove them from there, and I want to paste them inside of this stack group here. Now, watch what's going to happen. Okay, where did the other one go? Did I not copy both? Did I not cut both of them? No, I did not. Okay, so there we go. Let me cut that one too. And let me paste it into here. There we go. So now those two stack groups that were inside of this overlap group, <clears throat> this is a horizontal centered stack group. This is a horizontal centered stack group. But we have both of these stack groups inside of this one, which I have vertically centered. And now, how do we want this thing to animate? So, you know, this is going to be my application window. I can go back into my globals. I don't think I have to change anything in globals, to be quite honest with you. Okay, um, go is my text global variable. And since, okay, go is on four right now, whatever that means, it must be on stats. I don't know why it's not showing. But uh, applications, I'm going to apply, I'm going to let this be a little reminder to me that I'm letting this be seven. All right, now this might not, you might not be need to know all this stuff I'm about to show you right now, but it's just kind of reviewing how to animate with a text global variable. So applications, I want this thing to animate. And what do we want it to do? I'm going to say, I'm going to react on a formula. I have to type it in using my phone. So if GV, and we, it was go, now check out, I got plenty of videos talking about how to animate objects either using the list or e either using the text or the list global variable. So if that GV go is equal to seven, I want to animate it forward. If it's not, I want to send it back. So that's how we code that. I want to check. And what do I want it to do? I want it to fade in. All right, so right now it made it disappear because it's only going to fade in if the global variable, look at this code, if the global variable go is equal to seven, I want it to 
fade in, otherwise I want it to fade out. So that's the code I want to apply to it. Now how do I apply that actual seven? How do I make my go, my text global variable go equal to seven? Well what I need to do is go back to my doc that I have here and I need to change the touch of this button right here. So I'm going to go to my stack group, one, two, three, four, that should be that one right there. Let's go to touch and I'm going to add, okay, do I have it? I bet, let me see, one, two, three, four. Let me see if I had touch applied to the actual thumbs up. I bet I did, yeah. Because that's, remember I copied and pasted one of these icons earlier. So this is the one I want to change. Be careful. Make sure you're changing. If you copy and paste something that had a touch on it, make sure you change that touch. Otherwise, it's not going to work right. You think you've messed everything up. But, um, okay, now when I touch this icon, I want to toggle that global switch. But I don't want it to be 5 anymore. Um, if it's not equal to 5, well, now I want to say if it's not equal to 7, I want to make it equal to 7. And I'm going to say otherwise, I still want it to be 7. So basically by me doing this, I'm sure we could just code it and say make it equal to 7 or something like that. But this is basically saying, hey, if, if the GV go is not equal to 7, you want to make it equal to 7. Otherwise, make it 7. Basically, I touch this thing, it's going to make my GV go always be 7 regardless. <clears throat> so um, yeah, let's save this and let's see how this works. All right, so here's my battery stats. You know, here's, I'm touching these. This is my events. I think, I don't know why my calendar's not showing up right. That'll be okay. There's RSS, but now here's this one. So what's going to happen? Boom, there we go. See that? Now I have it coded so that all these other things disappear, but there's your application window. Now how do we make it go away? I can go check out something else. I can go play some music. I can look at the time, the date, whatever, but that right there is my applications window. And now if I touch some of these things, it should be opening the apps. So I touch YouTube, YouTube is loading. Um, if I touch this one, it should load Monument Valley. As you can see, it is loading Monument Valley. Very good. Now all of mine are gonna do that, but obviously what you'd wanna do is change the icon of each one and make sure you change the touch. But uh, there you have it. That's how you can add an application window to your custom live wallpaper. Again, I'm just a big fan. I'm not trying to convert you because, I mean, KOWP is great. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, this is what I do. I use the dock on my Nova Launcher. Notice I do have a little games folder. I have my exercise folder and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope it helped.